Hey guys, good morning. I'm James, Master Instructor of the Dean King Training Institute. Today is October 1st. We're here, we've got some glue pulling going on with our uh, new guys that just started out on our, in our PDR class. Let's check in with them and see how they're doing. Hey guys, if I can have you stop for a minute, come on over here and put you on the spot. Tell me a little bit about you guys yourselves and where you're from. Where are you guys from? Where, what's your name first? Nick Kenny from Norfolk, Nebraska. Eric Mancha from Midland, Texas. Jim Avery from Buffalo, New York. And I'm Ryan Minch from Bucks County, PA. So you guys are all out here, you know, going through our, our PDR 80 or PDR uh, 120, the 500 course. I mean, you guys are out here for a while, right? We've got a couple veterans, you know, in the house doing our course. You're here for two weeks. You know, this is, for some of you guys, this is your, your fourth day. For you, James, it's your second week, almost ninth, end of the second week, day. right? Ninth day. How is PDR class going for you guys, and, 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 and what do you think of it? It's been a, a lot easier now that we're on the fourth day. Um, find it but being just being a little bit easier to tackle each den, especially with James' help and everyone's here. It's it just feels like it's more it, it's it's easier to it's clicking. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's starting to click. Every day gets easier and more fun and first day is a little frustrating but uh, you know you start to kind of pick it up and it all starts to kinda of click. Makes so, sense, yeah. Makes sense, yeah, you bet. Well for you Eric. Uh it's it's tedious, uh it's it's a, a trade that it's not easy to to learn, but once you get it, you get it. You start oh, come on, PDR is easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. What about for you, James? I would say it takes a lot of time and patience and an eye for detail. Now, with all of you guys coming through, I know you know you're 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 in body collision, right? right. You are also oil fields. Oil fields. Retired military. Retired military. Now, I think of all of you guys, you're the only one who actually tried messing with it on your own before you yeah. came out here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, tell me about your, your experience doing it on your own, you know, trying to figure it out, watching videos and so on, and then, you know, actually doing it here in class. What was, what was the big difference there? What was uh, the... Just having the, having an actual teacher, you know, versus social media and stuff. I mean, our, our YouTube, you know, you could tell they cut time on a lot of things. So, this training right here is definitely the way to go as far as, I, I feel like what I've been doing for two months I've learned in four days you know to, to do it the proper way you know what mm -hmm. I mean so uh, just the, as far as the school wise and and the, the trade and, and the way it's being taught here I think it it's uh, benefits a, a good tech if they want to be one you know? mm -hmm. but. now for you guys before getting into this before coming out here did you guys think that it was gonna be a lot more difficult than it is or, or easier than it actually is right now I thought that it would be more difficult. I mean, just having like a background in body stuff and, you know, seeing the PDR guys come in here and there and how much, you know, time they spend on the car, you, you think it is, you know, difficult. And like, like he was saying, it just like once you learn how to read the light the right way, it starts to click with the yeah. highs and the lows and where you need to be mm -hmm. at on the dead. And that, and that's you guys are starting to see. That's the big light part of it, right? Is right. is that you know light placement, the reflection, being able to read it, being able to see it. It's one thing to see your dent, but it's another thing to actually understand and read what you're seeing and understand why it's doing the things that it's doing, right? So well, I don't want to keep you guys any longer. I'm gonna let you guys go back to work here. We're gonna check in with the guys over in the back. Sounds good. So in the back, we've got one of our cars. You guys are working on. We've got our second, third, and fourth week guys. They've been here for a while. We actually checked in on them a couple weeks ago. Hey guys, say hi to the camera. So we've got back here, we've got Alan, we've got Reese, we've got Alex, and I've got Mr. Kevin back here. Now these guys are all on their fourth and fifth and sixth weeks of PDR now. They're working on everything from creases to glue pulling on the rails. We've got some, some, some body line dents over here on the front fenders. Guys, if you guys would just stop for a second. Oh, tell me how your class is going. How's it going for you guys? Really good. Really good. Very educational. Yeah. Very educational. So what, what is it that you guys are working on? I, I know I just said it to the camera, but what, what is it that you guys are working on here in the cars? Because a lot of people always ask us, well, do I just sit on a hood forever? Do I just sit and do small little dime-sized dents for two and three and four weeks? Because I've seen somebody on some review say that. Is that, what, is that what's going on here, or are you guys actually working on some dents? We're actually working on yeah. some serious dents. <laughs> Tell me about some of the stuff you guys have worked on. Some Everything hoods. from 
uh, creases in the hood where you need to get underneath the braces and those are some real challenging and require a lot of finesse. Um, everything from the top rails here that also require a lot of finesse. Uh, they're very, very thin kind of structured metal so you have to be very, very careful to make sure you don't put more dents in it than what it came in with, if that helps. What about you, Kevin? What have you worked on since you've been here? Shoot, worked on a little bit of everything. As far right now as I'm working on this rear quarter, and it's it's all right. I'm kind of still trying to get the hang of everything. But as far as going class-wise, I mean, I've got to touch just about every panel on a vehicle. So it ain't like you're stuck in one spot all the time. And if you get in a bind, you and Sal are always around to help us out and get out of that little jam and show us actually what we need to do to fix the problem that we get ourselves into. So you get a good learning curve out of it. So if you do mess up out in the real world, you always have you guys to call. So you can kind of walk us through it. Hey you guys, Alex and Reese, you guys, you know, you guys have worked on some some decent sized dents now. You guys have done some body lines increase and stuff. Reese, you've never done it before. No, yeah. Alex, same with you. I mean most of you guys, you guys never done PDR before you got here, right? Again, this is your you know third, fourth, fifth, sixth week now. How do you guys feel versus your first day that you were here? <laughs> oh, it's Second way. day you were here, third day you were here. Yeah. It's been a huge day. learning Well, curve. every day. Yeah. Every day you're learning something new. Every day you're getting better. And you start to, you know, realize the approach to each dent, each metal. You kind of go from there. It's cool. Yeah, I think to expand upon that uh, is that you know, working with steel hoods versus aluminum hoods requires a different kind of manipulation than what you would normally find. So different model vehicles too, everything from you know the Volkswagens to the Nissans to the Chevrolets. I mean, they've all got different composite kind of hoods, I guess, for want of a better word. And that's where you really truly have to finesse your work. And I think that's been a real education for all of us, really and truly. So it is, it is fairly safe to say that we do cover all the bases and all the scenarios as much as obviously we can, given the amount of time with you guys, that you guys are here, right? right. Yeah. And you guys aren't just doing hoods and small little dime-sized dings and so on. I mean, we've kicked the panels, we've hit the panels, we've beat the panels, we've taken a, a, a softball mallet, we've done, you name it, everything just shy of an elbow drop off the top rope, so we're making some dents <laughs> in these cars, right? I mean, we had a, you know, Oleg's hail car in here, we dropped the headliner and, you know, we got into the fenders and... You know, we, we, we laughed and we cried a little on that car and, you know, we, you know, it was, it was difficult. It was a tough time for everybody, but you guys are getting some, some experience and some different types of dents, right? Yeah. You know, and you guys are here for a couple more weeks, you know, and like I said, just, you know, obviously you guys know we're just going to keep going and doing more and more stuff, okay? And with all these guys here, you know, they came out at one point, they had some questions. They were interested in dinking. They were interested in, you know, how they can use their, their GI Bill. They're interested in how we can, you know, get them from Spain or Chicago or the UK or wherever Alan's from uh, to get them out here to, to class to, to come and do this, you know, because at some point they were interested in what, we, in, in what we were doing. And what they did is they reached out to us, you know, which is what I'm saying to you guys. If you guys have any questions, call us 1 800 304 3464. Reach us on the web at thedinking.com. You can look us up on our different social media platforms. Official Instagram or official dinking on Instagram, the Dinking Training Institute. Um, and I'm sure there's some other ones you're missing. Or you can just drop a comment here on this YouTube link. And again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be checking in with these guys here in a couple days. They're going to be graduating soon. We'll be checking in again with those guys up front. And so all you guys out there, thank you for watching us. Keep watching us. Keep sharing the videos. And we'll be seeing you guys soon.